Booties for Black Girl Nerds. What are you hoping audiences walk out of Frozen 2 with? Oh, wow. That's a lot. I, I think, I hope they walk out pleasantly surprised yeah. um, um, that we, we do surprise them, but that um, uh, they, I, uh, that they're proud of where these characters have gone in this journey, um, mm -hmm. that they re relate to it. Mm -hmm. And I think ultimately um, what I hope is, is, is as always through Anna and Elsie, you see the power of love and the power of family mm -hmm. and perseverance. And what do you look for doing a sequel, an animated sequel, with the characters and how you, hopefully they hold true to the characters we all mm -hmm. fell in love with, but also show that growth and development after they've clearly been through something in the first one. Mm -hmm. Well, that is yeah, the challenge, is, is the the challenge. staying true to the character, mm -hmm. but yet letting them grow. Mm -hmm. And I think some of that is, you know, it's also inspired by our own children. You know, you can look at our kids, our kids are all growing up, and they're still the same kids when they, you know, same personalities, <laughs> but now they have all these, uh, you know, challenges ahead of them, all these uh, steps into the unknown, all of that, which are exciting, but, and so you can look at their, their lives and be inspired by that, mm -hmm. and, um, and also not being afraid to take risks mm -hmm. when it comes to uh, our characters and the story and pushing them to places that perhaps, mm -hmm. you know, they may not feel comfortable, mm -hmm. but we know they're, they're capable of. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And you mentioned some of the questions that people had on your travels and whatnot, and one of them is mostly, where did Elsa get her powers? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Are there any questions that you had after the first one that may or may not be in the film? <laughs> well, there certainly were a lot of yeah, things that we talked lot. about. When we started to look at it from Anna and Elsa's point of view, where are the parents going when the ship went down? Mm -hmm. Is there anything? Is there uh, so, yeah, happily, ever thing, happily Ever After? Such a thing Happily Ever After, I think that the concept of um, for me, in a big way, this Elsa has been accepted for having her powers. Anna finally has her sister. Mm -hmm. But um, why was Elsa born that way? Why wasn't Anna born with powers? What are they meant to do with their lives? And I think, you know, how does Kristoff fit in that? You know, um, uh, they were at the beginning of their relationship. Uh, uh, for in so many of that, for all of them, was the beginning of the relationship. Even Olaf had just been born. <laughs> so um, mm -hmm. to really see that family grow. Mm -hmm. And to see how change affects families, um, I think that was the biggest thing mm -hmm. for us. Is 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 that we say happily ever after, but we know the world changes like that, yeah. and um, and has a huge effect on you and your family. And and looking at it that way, I think was um, we mm -hmm. all right away said that's where we need to go. Yeah, and with a lot of the new technology out there, and I know virtual reality was mentioned. How does that affect the way you guys approach an animated movie? Mm -hmm. Well, we have different tools, you know, that, that we didn't have before, so that's great. It does still boil down to the story mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. how those tools and not, are just there to support the story and the technology It's there. You never want to be drawn just because something, drawn to something that's just really cool and the new gadget. Uh, you have to have it, you know, it has to be supported by the story. And the artists are great about you know, we'll give them a challenge. We'll say, here's this moment in the story. We need a, a, a water horse. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's mm -hmm. a challenge unto itself, but we need the water horse, but it's going to be inside, you know, in the ocean. <laughs> so we got water on water, in water, and, and they're just like, okay, <laughs> let me take it. And they do, and they do an incredible job. Yeah. How do you feel when you see these kids and even adults yeah. <laughs> uh, just interacting with your characters in a way that's just pure love and mm -hmm. respect. How do you feel about that? That was one of the fun yeah. things about when yeah. the first movie came out mm -hmm. is we were able to watch the audience reacting to the movie and to mm -hmm. the characters and, and it, it was clear to us that they have now made the movie their own yeah. uh, and it was fun to, fun for us to watch that. And we recently, because um, we're just starting to show some audiences and we recently, I loved the moment where I watched this dad who at the end was just talking so passionate about it and he was saying and you know and Anna she's fearless but now she has stuff to lose and Elsa she's like she needs to do that calling but it could be dangerous and he's like the way they and he's talking and I'm like he knows them as well as we know them he and he really cared about them and he and that that was a seeing those moments when you see the ownership as you said and you yeah. see but you see them caring deeply and 
for them and their journey, it's it's a uh, it's an overwhelming feeling, and it's you just feel. Um, I think that's when you realize what you get to be a part mm -hmm. of every day. Yeah. Okay. Last question. So, Jennifer, what advice would you give women making their way up in the animation industry? Ooh, the I think I, a little bit of advice in the sense of never give up. Mm -hmm. I, there are going to be a lot of no's. That's okay. But don't be afraid of mentorship and taking notes and critique. Mm -hmm. um, and I say mentorship because a lot of how I got my opportunities from people who um, mentored me and, and could speak and say, no, I, I've seen the work that she can do. You've got to see that work. And, and so making those connections are important. But just most importantly, don't give up. Better shake your booties for black girl nerds.